Hello and welcome to Optimistic Wellness. I'm Josh Lipovetsky. Today I want to make a, a big point that I've been applying in my life recently with great results since I've taken anatomy and biology in my class. And that is, you, if you're only in one industry, in particular I'm going to use the personal development, personal growth, spirituality, industry. If you just stay in that field, you're doing yourself an incredible disservice. And this is something that I did to myself when I got sick. Before that, I was really into... Uh, I was about 15 when I got diagnosed with Crohn's disease. And before that, I was really into two things mainly, business and computers. And I was amazing at both. But when I got sick and I started reading all these personal development books, I kind of tossed them aside because they weren't spiritual or enlightened enough. And that was a big mistake that thankfully I'm starting to realize now as I integrate more aspects of life into spirituality. The Another thing is that I want to make a big ode to the practical professions. Doctors in particular. Not just for the way doctors have treated me, which is amazing, but doctors, if it wasn't for doctors, none of us, you wouldn't be watching this video right now. A doctor delivered your birth. A doctor gave you immunizations, hopefully. A doctor did amazing things. Practical profession, incredibly strenuous, difficult to learn. Scientists, engineers, look at your phone, look at your computer, look at your operating systems, look at everything around you, tables, desks, chairs, everything. It was all designed to specific specs and measurements by elect electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, everything, computer programmers, all without these incredibly difficult, strenuous, scientific Without these scientific professions, we wouldn't be much at all. We'd just be floating up in the sky somewhere without any link to reality. And that's bad. That's bad. Without a scientific base of knowledge, it's really bad. So I've been floating up in the air too often, so I'm working really hard at grounding myself with a scientific base so that I can have the best of both worlds, the spirituality and the science. And that that is a very potent combination for optimum effectiveness in life. So I really encourage you to take a look at the written post. I've got more details in there. And there are two options you can take now after having watched this video and written the post. And they are below. First one is, you can disagree with me. Fine, if so, write in the comments, email me. I want to know why you disagree with me. Or Another part of that first option, you already do this. You already study in different fields, in science and humanities. In that case, awesome. Second option, and this is the option that I've been taking recently, go to sailor.org, S-A-Y-L-O-R.org. I've mentioned this site before. I love this site. And take an entry-level course in whatever field there interests you. The only thing is it has to be a field that you've never studied before. For me, in college this semester, it's been anatomy and biology, and I go to Sailor often to supplement my community college studies with that. And I'll tell you, Sailor courses are very, very difficult, not just in the content themselves, that they have a really comprehensive course there that's going to really embed the knowledge in your mind and the constructs but that it requires an insane amount of self-discipline to complete a course, which I haven't completed a course yet. I haven't gotten the self-discipline required for it. So it's amazing. That will help you out so much. So if you agree with what I'm saying here, please do that. Sailor.org. Pick a course. And thank you for watching. Optimism is the only way.